framed by stately pines, silent guardians of a multitude of cars, conveyances of the sun-loving sons and daughters of Australia, we get our first glimpse of beautiful Bondi, a surfing paradise situated only a few minutes from the heart of the city. This seaside pleasure resort is typical of the scores of glorious beaches surrounding the Commonwealth's coastal cities. These golden strands are not exclusive Rivieras for the few, but everyday playgrounds for one and all. Leaving the cares of office and factory behind, these people revel in playgrounds of unrivaled beauty. Forgetting the roar of the city for the role of the surf, they find the relaxation and health-giving sunshine so necessary in this modern age of speed. No surf carnival on any beach would be complete without the ever-popular skirl of the pipes and whirl of the skirts. This pageant brings us a parade of virile manhood, the march past of the surf lifesavers. Volunteers all, sturdy young men who devote their leisure hours to the splendid task of making the beaches safe, alert and brave. The roughest seas hold no terrors for them. They battle the waves just for the thrill of it. And when danger threatens, they are ever ready to answer the call. As they march in the arena like the gladiators of old, all eyes are focused on them with their rippling muscles and proud carriage. Every man determined to uphold the honor and prestige of his club. This is a spectacle which can be seen not only at Bondi, but on every beach in New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, South Australia, West Australia, and Tasmania. Here we see the teams paying out the lifelines with which the beltmen swim to the aid of those in difficulty, while the surf boats put out a thrilling race. On the outward journey, the crews strain at the oars with every ounce of energy they possess, fighting their way through the breakers. But on turning for the shore, these are used to advantage as, with able seamanship, the boats are manoeuvred onto the crest of a monster wave and then speed for the shore like a power-driven launch. The daring of ancient Vikings, the skill of South Sea Islanders, and the traditional seamanship of British blood all seem blended in the spirit of these fine boatmen who strive for sport as vigorously as they would rush to the rescue if need arose. For years, Australians have pitted their skill against the surf. Unaided, they ride the breakers, or on surfboards, they show an agility rivaling that of the far-famed Hawaiians. Navishly provided as they are with such playgrounds as this, it is easy to understand why the Australian people have developed into a hardy and self-reliant race, able to creditably acquit themselves at any sport in competition with the champions of other countries. An Australian innovation is the surf she, a kind of flat canoe on which a practiced expert can ride the waves at exhilarating speed. To become expert, however, one needs a quick eye, a good sense of timing, and above all, a good balance. Like the surf boat, the surf she is equally suited to either sport or life-saving. Could any sport provide greater thrills than this? What a feeling of mastery these young enthusiasts must experience, as with perfect poise, they skim towards the shore, balanced like statues on their frail craft. What a happy land where the people have at their doors such peaceful pleasures as this. Countless thousands from all walks of life congregate to share the pleasures so abundantly provided. What a picture they make. Colorful costumes, gay umbrellas, and wigwams. Or to give them their real Australian name, Mai Mai's. Modern water nymphs, adding with their freshness and charm to the scenic attractions. Carefree and happy, Everywhere one can see these splendid types of Australian girlhood.
could anyone find a more wonderful place than this for children? Freedom, health, and glorious opportunities for play. No wonder we are raising a sturdy race in this country, happy and healthy in body and in mind. Close to the surf beach is the swimming bath, where the strongest swimmers can exercise or the most desperate dog paddlers have fun in a glorious environment of rocky shores, flying spray and blue sunlit skies. A special pool for the children, where future Olympians may learn their first strokes. And over all, watch the guardians of the shore. With these stalwart sentinels standing by, a whole population plays safely in the fringe of the Blue Pacific. These inflated rubber surfboards enable anyone to enjoy the thrill of shooting the breakers and also add their quota to the profusion of color formed by this human kaleidoscope. After enjoying a dip in the briny, the Boulevard Cafe becomes a popular rendezvous where the liquid refreshment recedes with the rapidity of a swift ebb tide. Tired but happy, enjoying a bask in the sun, and so ends another day of delight in the playground of the Pacific. <laughs>